What's up, Boing Vert fans and members? Smash like if you want to dunk. Subscribe if you want a tomahawk dunk. Today we're looking at a study entitled A Comparison of the Mechanical Effort of Arm Swing and Counter Movement on the Lower Extremities and Vertical Jump. This is from Japan. Really interesting study. And what they wanted to do was study four different types of jump. A squat jump is basically you go down to a squat position, stay there, and then jump with your arms behind your back so you're not using your arms. Then do the same thing, except this time use your arms. That's the second one, S-J-A. And then a counter movement jump, which is basically you're standing up, then you squat down, then you jump. And then a counter movement jump with arms. The counter movement without arms and the counter movement jump with arms. So they wanted to see what the arms were doing when you jumped. Now, not surprisingly, the jumps in which arms were used created the highest vertical jump. And the counter movement jump, which you can see here, this is actual video from the Boing Vert program where we walk you through how to do certain exercises. When you do the counter movement jump with arm swing, you jump the highest compared to a squat jump without arms, a squat jump with arms, and a counter movement without arms. This is the highest way to jump. And you'll notice when you go to jump, you throw your arms back as you bend down and you throw your arms up as you go forward. What's interesting about the paper is this. They write the increase of the counter movement jump height with an arm swing is the result of the increase of the lower extremity work. In the hip joint, the increase in torque caused by the counter movement predominantly occurred at the beginning of the propulsion phase, while the increase in torque caused by the arm swing occurred in the rest of the propulsion phase. So they're saying two things here. As you go down the hip torque, increases because of the counter movement that's squatting down. And then the hip force, the hip torque, increases as you swing your arms up through the propulsion phase, as you explode towards the rim. And what they noticed in this study was, it's actually their key finding, is that the arm swing and counter movement have independent effects on lower extremity work, but that their effects are additive in the counter jump arm swing movement to produce greater jump height. So what this means is the work your lower extremity is doing acts independently when you're jumping. So as you squat down, you're creating a torque on the lower extremity. The arms don't have much to do with it. And then when you start to jump and you swing your arms up, that creates work also on the lower extremities. And when you combine these two effects, they're additive, they work together. Let's look at a Donovan Mitchell dunk really quickly so we can see how this kind of looks with a great leaper. We're gonna freeze frame it right before Donovan Mitchell jumps here and we'll see his arms are thrown way back. Now when we see poor jumpers, their arms do not go back nearly as far. One thing you can start to do is start to stretch your shoulders a little bit more and really work on getting your arms back so you can throw them into your jump. You'll also note, notice that his right foot has dorsal flexion, that the basically the toes of the right foot are pointing up and he's going to stab the back foot, the lagging foot, into the jump. That's a thing of beauty. Let's look at it from a few different angles as well so you can just get a more 360 look. You can see his arms way back there. The head is up, he's looking where he wants to jump. You can see it from this angle too. And one of our hints, we say, make sure you look where you want to jump. A lot of bad jumpers look down. So make sure you're looking up. You fling those arms back. And it's interesting to know that those arms flinging back are really working on the lower extremities and not so much the upper extremities. It's really doing a lot of work for your legs. It's increasing the torque on the propulsive movement and a little shift in how you move your arms, getting a little bit more flexible and reaching back and powering through could really add inches to your vert. It's important to know the Boing Vert program covers all of this. So go to boingvert.com to get your program today. Remember, we create dunkers. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We have the most scientifically backed jump program on the planet and we'll do anything we can to help.